it's Nina and Warthog Princess and welcome back for part three of our travel series. This one is travel accessories. Really they all are and these are not exclusive for travel. I use them in my everyday life. A lot of them I carry around in my bags every day which you'll see throughout but here we go. This one is probably the longest of the three sets. There's just so many pieces um, to talk about. And by no means are any of these three videos all inclusive, but I do think they give you a pretty good spectrum of options across the board from Vera Bradley. So, first one, if you watched my, um, I think it was Color Street Part 2, you saw this already, but this was a set of three pouches. It was from the paper store, and it was called the Lighten Up Travel Pouch Set. It's not lighten up. It's not even at all. It's clear vinyl with this nice printed pattern. This is in Bramble Vines. The other two pieces are in the set here. They're being utilized, obviously, for my nail stuff. And here's the other two pieces. They're uh, a shaded or tinted. There you go. So you have one, two, and three, and they can clip together. They all have a little loop with a quick release doofer. And there you go. So I just store them like this because it keeps all my nail stuff together. And yeah, more to come on nails. If you're interested, please do feel free to watch that video. All right, next one. And we're kind of on a clear vinyl theme, if you will. This is a lotion bag. I did just order another one in Sea Life because I don't know, I think they're great. Great for travel, great for fun. You can use them for arts and crafts or projects or kids or yeah, a lot of things. A nice handle on top, zips around, opens up, you know, sunscreen and lotions and whatever. I think they're great for a lot of things and I bought it. Also, you have the Clear Cosmetic. Um, I think they call it something else. This one is in Fireworks Paisley. Sorry, this one was Springtide Navy. But anyway, Fireworks Paisley, it's just a Clear Cosmetic, so great. I like that it has a handle on the side. Pretty straightforward. I actually haven't used this yet, but only because I didn't want to mess it up, honestly. I had so many other options. I couldn't, couldn't just justify using it just yet. I will, though. Um, they do also have that now again in the Sea Life pattern, and maybe the Sea Horse as well. I have to remind myself, look back. But you can get that item now, but not in that pattern. This is the 311 case. It comes with three bottles in it. Um, I haven't used this one because I'm using a very similar case like this that's a little bit bigger that's not Vera but anyway these are great you can use it with the bottles or without just take them out and use your own stuff it's clear all the way around this is TSA compliant so your 311 even by name makes sense um, this one is in Kiev Paisley so there you go just the trims okay this stuff again no particular order because it's all over the place I did kind of group it but yeah Okay, so this is your four-piece cosmetic set. There is an outlet version and a retail version, so we'll look at both. They basically come with handles. This one is sort of a squared off rectangular shape. It has double zippers. There you go. Inside, you have a mix. You have one lighten up piece, which is the big piece. It's a great size. It's sort of a big open it up. You can put bottles, obviously it's just stuff, but it's plain lining. Um, but very wipeable, definitely. So lighten up. You can put a lot of the things in it. Obviously, I haven't used this one. Then you have your medium one, which we just saw in the last video as part of, or sorry, the first video, part one. There was an organizer case that had this shape and size. That was in Lilac Fouvard, actually. But this one is Chandelier Noir and the medium piece, straightforward. And then the small piece is a little bit longer, but is very comparable to like a dome cosmetic. So not the mini dome, we'll get to those, but a little bit different. So there you go. That's the three pieces. They all fit nicely right back in. You can put them in in any order, or you can use the case without the pieces. You can do it how you want. I just keep them stored like that. And when I use them, I use them and then I put them back. So it's pretty, Pretty easy. All right, the retail side version of the same, the four-piece cosmetic. This one, oh, I'm dropping stuff. This one is in Lilac Medallion. I was looking at the title, making sure I was telling you the right name. Um, this one still had the tag on it. All right, this one has three different shaped pieces inside. Uh, I'm trying not to zip that out. Okay, 
Let me take this tag off because that is going to be problematic. Okay, so the case itself is a different shape. You can see that it's tapered and it's also rounded on the top. Um, this is the same case that I was using for my nail stuff. The one I'm using there is a Holiday Owls. This is Lilac Medallion, eh, same, same. Inside it had the same pieces as well. Here we go. I'll just take all the pieces out. Again, these are stuffed because it's not being used. Let me take the zipper covers. The big piece is about the same size as the other one, but it's not lightened up like the outlet version was. It is also zip around the top, which I actually prefer. I just think it is easier to get into and out of. These are lined with clear plastic, but not patterned on the inside, at least this version. It is also in a little bit different variations as the patterns go forward in time. Um, this is the dome cosmetic that I was talking about. It, you can buy this piece by itself. You can buy a medium cosmetic by itself that's slightly different shape, but same size. But this is your dome cosmetic. Um, first time I saw this by itself was the really soft velvety one in navy, and I loved it so much. And so I, I already had it in here and I didn't realize anyways, live and learn, you know. Um, this one again is same, plastic lined inside but it's a great shape. These hold a lot. I love how they open up. I love these for my purses every day. So on that note, that is what is great about buying these sets because this set retails for $70 and you get three pieces in it. That alone, this is like 50 bucks and that's whatever, 35 for a cosmetic and who knows what the honor roll is. So to me, that's a it's like a bargain set and especially if you can get this at a discount price like when they're on sale like right now everything's 25 percent off yeah to me that's a better deal and these are the pieces i'll use anyway so what it's worth that's what i look at and why i have so many of them but this goes right back in fits right on top there you can switch the positions this is like an honor roll case but it doesn't have the extra flap of the standalone on a roll so it's just a roll case if you will you, can, you used to be able to buy these separately now it's different format, but there you go. They are also lined in plastic inside, and there you go. I love these. You can use it for pencils, you can use it for makeup brushes, you can use it for crocheting needles, you can use it for a lot of things, but there you go. Stores very nicely all together, just like that. Okay, while we're on the subject of plasticky bags, here is this cute little cosmetic. This one I got um, free with purchase at the paper store, but this is an iconic mini dome cosmetic, Mary Hair Ditsy. It's all plastic. It's not like plastic coated fabric. It's just a like a painted vinyl, but it's clear coated. So it has a cute little bunnies on um, both sides. It's just a straightforward, but it is very, very rigid, which I think works in the bigger version. But for this little one, I, I have it in my gift pile. We'll just say that. So there you go. Actually, I have it slated to give to ah, my friend, my friend's daughter, actually. Let me fix that. There you go. Hello again. Sorry about that. Okay, next. This is, it's a little bag and you have a clear thing, but it actually was the whew, travel tech case or travel tech organizer. This one is in um, Holiday Owls. It came with three pieces. It was the clear thing. It was this pouch. And it had a bag charm with a little owl on it, which I put with my bag charms. I didn't bother pulling it out. But it has two zippers. So there's a front zipper. It's kind of like a cosmetic to me, a very diverse, versatile piece. And then a main pocket. So it is nylon lined, solid interior, but it does have the nice trim pattern. So I think it's a pretty little bag. I kind of wish that they came out more patterns, not just this one, but yeah. I am happy to have this one. And these are great like stadium bags. If you have a clear bag requirements, it's small and it usually passes all the size requirements. So very, very usable piece all around, all three pieces. All right, that one goes over here. And then same size outer, completely different inner. So this is the mini ditty set. Um, so it comes with the clear bag, same as we just saw, except different stuff inside. This one has ditty bags and it comes with two different size ditty bags. This is Holiday Owls again so you have the exterior and the interior patterns. 
Um, ditty bags, while we're on the topic, are a travel accessory. You can use them for so many things. I use them every day at home, storing things in them or whatever. This is um, an older style one, um, or a different style anyway. It has the double zipper pulls, which I like actually, I really do. Um, so it's not the iconic style that has the tethered um, rounded rope. It is plastic lined, all day bags are, and they have sometimes different types of plastic. This one is kind of a hard, crinkly, milky colored one. Um, and this style is not tethered on the bottom. I like the outlet versions and the older ones that are sewn around the bottom. Um, that's just my preference, but there you go. So this one's Holiday Owls, as you can see. Let me fold that back up so I can put it back away right back in its little storage bag. And then this one is bigger. So that one was basically a regular size, and then here's your big one there. So it's not huge. We will see another big one, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, we should actually see it, uh, wait, hang on. Yeah, no, you won't, sorry. Anyways, same style though. This one has the two pulls, plastic milky white inside and it's just bigger. So I do love ditty bags. They come in lighten up material. They come in a mini size, which you can get at the outlets even now. And you can get larger ones. There was a, we're gonna get to it in a moment, but I didn't pull it out. Different one, different materials. It's like a nylon, unlined nylon. I'm blah, 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 I'm sorry. So <clears throat> the next item, this item is not necessarily a travel accessory per se, but certainly could be used as one. <clears throat> I haven't used it yet actually, but let's take it out of the plastic. I bought this with a purpose and, and didn't end up using it for that. But this is the hanging shower caddy. So you could hang it up in your shower. You can take it like for your travel. For example, if you're camping and you gotta walk to the shower house, well, that's perfect because it'll you can hang it on a tree to dry and then put it away to pack when you leave things like that that's what i was thinking um but it has two exterior pockets where you can just slide this one's skinny ones so maybe a toothbrush or a skinny comb or the bottom end of a brush or something and then the other side is one big one big one on the back and then it's a double zip to get inside oh well it's not broken, but that the way that's constructed is odd. It's a rope in there, so it basically just pulled itself out. I'll have to fix that. Maybe not right this second. Oh, there it goes, right back in. Whew. I don't like that. All right, things happen. It is a swivel hang, so it hangs. Open all the way. So it hangs like this, and it has internal, like, structural two elastics right here across the middle. So the unfortunate thing is that doesn't allow the pocket to, like you couldn't put a wide item that would go across the whole pocket because you have these braces there. But there are elastics, so you could fit things between like three different bottles or whatever. It's one big pocket. You have a mesh pocket here across the middle and then the clear on one side, mesh on the back on the top. So anyways, it's a decent size. I prefer the bucket shaped one which I have loaded and do, do have at home. Like when I go to the hospital, I take that. Um, this would be fine for a lot of different things. I just haven't had a need for it. I was thinking I would give it to my little niece who lives in the dorms and has to walk down the hall for the showers. Um, so I bought two of them and I just haven't done anything with it yet. But anyway, you don't care what that is. All right, then I put this in the travel accessories. This is a packable travel tote. So they zip into this nice little pouch in and of itself. And this one is Romantic Paisley, or whatever the partner Romantic is, I've forgotten. And there you go, it's a tote. It's a robust material. It's not quite lighten up, it's like a silky version, but it's, I would say more like a midtown fabric or an unlined, unpadded, unquilted um, performance twill kind of thing. It's like that. It's robust, so it'll be durable. Has a pretty good base to it, so it will hold a lot of stuff. It does have a zipper closure on the top, and it has a slip and a zip on the front pocket. So I actually used this very one on my cruise trip, 
and I used it for bopping around the ship. I had a backpack for like excursions off the ship, but I used this one for bopping around. I carried like my games and my iPad and a coloring book, just stuff if I was gonna sit out somewhere and just fart around. Um, you can fold it in thirds or fold it in half and half again, but basically just get it into the middle of itself, fold it in half, and then you just fold the end in, fold the end in, and zip that puppy up. There is a video put out by Vera Bradley about packable items and how to fold them. Um, so that's my technique, what you just saw. I think theirs is slightly different, but whatever works for you, it works. It's fine. There's no one way to do it. All right, next item, let's talk packing cubes. So there's three different variants, if you will. Let's go older, oldest to newest. All right, first, this is a, I wanna say large size. I think they came out small, medium, large, or maybe just large and medium. But this one is in mini medallions. It's a lighten up fabric, but this particular version of lighten up is almost more like a canvasy type lighten up. Doesn't matter, it's still lighten up. This version has two zippers on it. You notice it's kind of flat, like for storage. You unzip the top version, that opens it up. So it's a mesh top and then the nylon bottom, if you will. But again, still, you can't store very much in there. So you unzip the expander, which again, just like your suitcase expanders, it just goes all the way around and spirals and see how that opens it right up and gives it depth. Now, now you can use it for an actual packing cube. Does that make sense? And you can see what's inside of it. So I'll just zip that right back up and zip the top. Doo -doo -doo. And there you go, so storage wise. So that's the larger size. Here's a smaller size, you can see the difference in size. Not tremendous, but definitely a difference. This is Bramble Vines, but this one is different. This is not part of the travel packing cubes thing. This one is a packing cube, but it came from the paper store. And it was a set, it came with two ditty bags that were the double pull. They're unlined, but they're nylon, sort of and they're a different interior. Anyway, I love those and I forgot to grab it. I thought I did, oh no, wait, I did. I'm smarter than I look. All right, so this was one of them. This is the larger of the two that came with this set. These are still available at the paper store right now. Matter of fact, I just ordered a second one because I love this big bag. This is perfect for dirty laundry when I'm traveling. Um, not for the RV, I have something for that that's much bigger, longer term, but for like a cruise, when this is full, you know, then I know it's time to do laundry. Here we go, the inside is not lined, but it is very, very wipeable, that nylon. And I like it because it is very thin and lightweight, so it is great for travel. And it also is great for keeping your dirty laundry separate from your clean in the suitcase coming home. So there you go. So like I said, this is the larger of the two. The second one is maybe half the size of this one, and they came with this cube. So, what is this cube? This cube is very similar to the other, except it does not have the expandability. It is strictly one piece, one zipper, packing cube, which honestly makes a lot more sense. Why, why would you ever have that expandable zipper? It's like a wasted zipper because you're never gonna use it, not expanded. And for storage, they squish flat anyway. So just my simple opinion, but. This one is wipeable inside, not lined, but just one, again, one usable thing, just like that. Okay, so that's a paper store. I might even be exclusive. Now, current versions. This is in Garden Dream, but this is the packable packing cube set, and it's three pieces. So you have like a small, a medium, and a large. So looking at these sizes, these are like a rectangular cube shape. It zips around like that and opens up. So it's kind of like that large piece of that travel thing I showed in the first video in this set. So that I can't make it stand because I don't have anything in it, but you can kind of see it's just a rectangle with the zip around closure. And when you go to store them, I just pinch the ends in and then squish the air out and it stores flat, just like that. Medium is exactly the same, but size wise, here I'll line it up um, in the middle. You can see a little bit on each side and roughly actually the same in this direction. So it's only just a little bit wider and 
a little bit taller. How much? I don't know, half inch. Okay, now the big one is slightly different because it has a handle on the one end. I do kind of wish the others did, but honestly, they don't really need it. I just think it's convenient when you're grabbing bags and you can kind of carry them around and put away things like that. But So this one has a long opening. It's got pretty good depth to it. It does hold quite a bit. I wish I could buy just this size because this I would use mostly um, and not so much the lower ones on a regular basis. Oops, I didn't make that one fold as pretty, but I don't care because I'm just gonna go like this, fold it in half like a taco and put it back on the shelf anyway. Okay, now, this is getting long, but it's gonna be longer because there's lots more to go. So we're 20 minutes in. I'm going to do this section and then we'll make a part two because there's a lot. All right, so this is Parisian Paisley again, but some other accessories we haven't yet seen. So you have this um, brush and pencil case. This is a little different than the on a roll because it's just straight up. It does have like actually a triangular shape to it. It does have a base, so when you have stuff in it, it could kind of stand on its own. But it holds a ton. You can use it for travel or not travel. I used it at first with a lot of pens and pencils, and then I outgrew it. There you go. Then you have the Cosmetic Trio. I love these. I have it in a lot of different patterns. This is an outlet style only. Um, so you may sometimes be able to get it in retail patterns, but it is an outlet only style. Again, Parisian Paisley, so. But three different sizes, they come as a set. These are nylon lined, but they are quilted inside, so. I use these for a variety of things, especially this one. It's roughly the size of a coin purse. Um, the iconic style, anyway. Doesn't have any of the interior organization, but they're great. I love, I use these two for my purses all the time. Okay, so that's it for part three of the series, part A, if you will, of a two-part, third-part series. <laughs> so, yeah, lots and lots of accessories. So stand by for the last portion. See you soon.